In the early 1900s, the automotive industry was booming. Just in the United States alone, hundreds of car manufacturers were making cars in an attempt to become the next big thing, with only a few obtaining success with high production numbers. The Franklin Automobile Company saw moderate success during its operation from 1902 to 1934, but was eventually claimed by the Great Depression due to its poor profits and failing business operations. While his name is not the one on the cars, John Wilkinson was the chief engineer responsible for the unique engineering aspects of Franklin automobiles. Every Franklin car utilized air cooling for their engines as opposed to water cooling, which was the industry standard at the time. Wilkinson and the other engineers within the company believed air cooling was more reliable than water cooling and made the car lighter, another engineering goal for Franklin cars. The man whose name is on the car is that of Herbert H. Franklin, an industrialist who obtained his wealth by founding the H. H. Franklin Manufacturing Company. This company and the Franklin Automobile Company worked closely with each other, with the manufacturing firm manufacturing many parts for the automotive company. The first Franklin model arrived in 1902, named the Runabout model. After the success of this model, Franklin gradually increased their model lineup to include roadsters, sedans, limousines, and trucks. While producing and selling a good amount of cars, Franklin never made a substantial profit. In fact, the only year that Franklin was able to produce a dividend for its investors was in 1925. As the Great Depression hit the United States, the Franklin Automobile Company struggled. They took on a large amount of debt in 1929 to expand car production, but sales were already slumping with their high price points. Additionally, Franklin introduced a 12-cylinder engine and a new model appropriately named 12 in 1932. While it provided a good amount of power, the aftermath of the Great Depression saw the market wanting cheaper and more reliable cars, something this car was not. The high development cost of this vehicle and low revenues from it was one of the reasons the Franklin Automobile Company would end up declaring bankruptcy and shuttering its doors in 1934. Our 1917 Franklin 9A sedan is a great insight into the innovations of Franklin cars at the time. With its aluminum body, auto spark advance, and six cylinder air cooled engine, our car definitely showcases the modern innovations the company had over 100 years ago. As one of three last known examples remaining, our car is a sight to see not only in the museum, but on the street as well. To see the many unique automobiles on display in our collection, check out the Tampa Bay Automobile Museum in person or via our website and social media. We are always working on something and looking forward to releasing our membership program to the public soon. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos such as these.